um, like more money for maintenance, obviously. Um, we also thought the parish councils uh, could continue to promote awareness of reporting how you report maintenance problems. Uh, and this is relating to roads, footpaths and cycle paths. Um, uh, we also discussed whether parish councils could perhaps take on uh, some of the, the work of parish stewards, that Wiltshire Council could actually contract this out, so cleaning road signs and the like, uh, and people thought that was quite a nice idea. Second priority was uh, road safety, speed watch, we you heard about. Um, perhaps parish councils could identify black spots, check with them, the police, Wiltshire Council, if they, are, if they know about them, if they have accident statistics or not. Um, sort of community art projects such as the bin stickers which have 30 mile per hour limit on or um, pedestrian figures at those accident black spots to encourage drivers to slow down. Uh, thirdly, was public transport, particularly um, improve, extending the, the use of the bus passes, the school bus passes, for after school activities. That needs to be discussed with Wiltshire Council to find out what's technically feasible, what the costs are, um, and explore alternative to buses, um, car share, car calling, um, car clubs. That's something for, for the Parish Council's community to, to think about, really. Thank you, Heather. although I should probably say speed reduction. Um, building on the benefit of, of speed watch and use of the um, SIDS within the community area, we talked about how do you change people's attitudes towards speeding and how do you change behaviour. And um, we also discussed the fact that fear can be a good thing in that it um, prevents accidents, but at the same time it can also be prohibitive in stopping people from doing things that they would like to do and can generate consequences like parents driving their children everywhere because they're fearful of their children being out on the roads. So a big discussion about how we could build on the success of um, speed watch work already. Second priority was about um, strengthening neighbourhood watch and particularly looking at the interaction between um, speed watch, lorry watch, horse watch, farm watch, neighbourhood watch and also possibly introducing street watch within the community area. Um, working more closely with the PCSOs to improve communication, things like neighbourhood watch news and also for those residents who don't have access to the internet, people volunteering to distribute hard copies, say to neighbours within their street, which would have the added advantage of someone from time to time knocking on a neighbour's door um, in order to just have a discussion with them about neighbourhood watch in their area. Our third priority, uh, we'd like to see um, an agenda item for the area board on the issue of domestic abuse and I think there we, we overlap with the health and wellbeing table. Um, we'd like to know more about existing services that are available in the area and how residents can access those and in particular concern about support for children who are in domestic abuse situations particularly the age 5 to 11 um, group of children where um, it, it appears that the services that were in place have now been cut. So what support is there for children of that age group? Thank you. Thank you, Tracy.